This video will be about air pressure, pressure distributions. In the atmosphere we have thousands and thousands of meters of air that builds up and, and with the weight of the air give, built up a pressure uh, on the ground level. We will here learn to understand the concept of wind induced pressure on the building, static pressure, stack effect, neutral pressure plane of a building. Uh, wind pressure and the wind suction is quite powerful. Here we have some pictures from a hurricane that actually lift up, lifted up um, the roofs. And so we can have a, a really a true suction on roofs, like the suction on, on a, the, the wing of a plane. And a regular villa we could have a, a pulling force of two tons. So it's uh, very powerful. <coughs> This picture il illustrates how the pressure could look like uh, around the building when we have a wind coming from the left. There will be a positive pressure region where on the windward side, but on the leeward side there will be a suction, also suction uh, on the roof. So the pressure around the building will differ. And air pressure is quite interesting. Uh, we know that which is illustrated uh, here on, on the top level here, there will be a, a certain air pressure level. Let's call it on the base level on P naught. But if we go further down, two and a half meters, like the room height, um, there will be more air, a further weight due to the uh, air mass of the air. So two, two and a half meters down, there will be a higher pressure uh, equivalent to two and a half meters, uh, the weight of two and a half meter of air. So we have a slope, uh, and th we'll have a slope so showing that we have a higher, higher air pressure the deeper down you, you go. And the density of air, which if, you, if it's cold air, we have a higher density, then the slope will be higher. If you have warmer air, the slope will be less. And this we can find out, we can use t this uh, to understand how a hot air balloon is, is working. Uh, we see uh, in, in the bottom, just above the people there in the basket, we have a certain air pressure that was, will be equal just below the balloon and outside the balloon, otherwise there will be a lot of air movements. So we can, we can say that we have the same air pressure down there in the bottom. Uh, if we look at air outside the balloon, we will have, uh, since it's cold outside the, the balloon, we will have a, a bigger slope, a higher slope than inside the balloon. So if we compare what's happened inside and outside the balloon, there will be uh, a higher pressure inside the balloon and outside the balloon. So underneath the balloon top there will be typically much higher air pressure inside than outside and this will be the reason for the lifting force uh, that keeps the balloon floating in the air. Here we have some similar pictures. Uh, to the left we see the external pressure gradient in the outside air because we have like, quite a high slope because we have colder air in this example outside and inside. So the internal pressure gradient is less. This is similar to what we found in the balloon and outside the balloon. Uh, so though the slope are there but ex the exact uh, levels, the average value of the pressure inside and inside can change of course. And outside it's, it's, it is what it is, it's the bar uh, atmospheric pressure. But since we must have an air balance, a mass balance, air that flows in due to pressure difference and air that flows outwards due to pressure difference. There may be an equal amount flowing in and out. Uh, a, net, a neutral pressure plane will be, be developed where we have the same pressure inside and outside. Uh, and this re will result in the pressure difference between inside and outside will be uh, in one way in the, in the bottom of the building and another in the top of the building. And we can see that in, in this picture. 
So this is a two-story building with a staircase in the middle. So they are all connected. The air inside is connected. And we'll have overpressure, positive pressure in the upper part of the building. And in the lower part there will be under pressure. So the cold air will be pressed in by the difference in pressure inside and outside. And warm air will be pressed out in the upper side of the building. The exact place of the neutral, neutral plane can differ from place from, from one building to another depending on where the vents are, or how the vents uh, are uh, adjusted, and so on. Summary: The wind can can both induce suction and positive pressure around the building envelope. The stack effect due to the warmer indoor air results in pressure difference across the building envelope. In the neutral plane, the pressure difference across the building envelope is zero. Normally, the highest overpressure, i.e. the pressure that forces the air to flow outwards, outwards is found in upper parts of the building.